artifacts, valuable objects with wonderful properties. Unfortunately, we often pick them up as fast as possible, without taking the time to take a good look at them. Hello stalkers, and welcome to the Anomalous Dugout. In this video, we will showcase the appearances, properties and behaviors of all the artifacts from Shadow of Chernobyl. Let's get started. When out in the wild, the thorn will jump on the spot before reaching an equilibrium. The exact same happens with the crystal thorn. As you will see, this is quite a common behavior for artifacts. The urchin is also the same. What we can notice is that the duration of the jumping seems to be somewhat random. The jellyfish has a similar behavior, but it also emits some strange waves. The stone flower is the same. We can theorize that these waves are responsible for the artifact's properties. The night star is instantly recognizable by the amount of light it emits. It has a different behavior, moving around randomly and never stopping unless it gets stuck. The ranched is just like the jellyfish and the stone flower. And so is the gravy. It is possible that this behavior is somewhat of a norm for gravitational artifacts. The goldfish is a little bit different, acting more like a normal object. But if you push it enough, it will start jumping like the others, also reaching an equilibrium. The stone blood is less interesting, as it doesn't seem to do anything in particular. The same goes for the meat chunk, even if it's sometimes able to jump just a little bit. The soul is, like the goldfish, able to adopt both the behaviors of a normal object and of a jumping artifact. The droplet can be very active, jumping and moving around for long periods. But eventually, it will completely stop. Furthermore, it emits waves that look like heat. The fireball emits the same and rolls on itself unless it is pushed. The crystal first appears to be inactive, but sometimes it can shake and jump a little bit. The sparkler is nothing spectacular, although it emits a lot of sparks. The flash is almost the same, the difference being that it rolls on itself. The moonlight is identical to the flash. Among with some other round artifacts, it is able to push a stalker in the air for some reason. The slime is not really interesting, but it does emit something unknown. The slug seems to be the same until it starts jumping, as if it was a gravitational artifact. The mica 
is exactly like the slug. Is it possible that these are secretly of gravitational nature? At least we know that the battery is of gravitational nature, even if its properties might have you believe otherwise. The other battery, that we can call flame battery, has a set cycle during which its two discs separate and reunite. The spring has exactly the same shape and cyclic behavior. However, it also has gravitational attributes. The color bark is identical to the urchin both in appearance and behavior, but it also emits something. The pellicle is the largest artifact. It moves around as if it was pushed by the wind, and sometimes it stops by itself or because of an obstacle. The mammoth beads is the most unstable artifact, as it furiously moves around without ever stopping. Also, it has the shape of a DNA helix, which is pretty cool. Finally, I wanted to show two comparisons. Here you have the color bug and the urchin. We can see that they are the exact same except for that strange particle effect that the Kolobok has. Then we have the battery and spring that share their shape and cyclic behaviors. Surprisingly, these artifacts are able to somewhat go through the floor. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if I missed anything, please tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching, stalkers, and goodbye.